Hello everybody, I'm here in the woods and I'm looking at a tree. This is the bark of one of my uh, favorite trees that grows in the eastern woodlands. It's super common as an understory tree. And if you look at the bark, it's very scaly. It just kind of flakes off. It's like little papery, papery scales. And they're kind of little vertical strips. As that bark is younger, it's actually much smoother. Let's look at the bark on this young branch here. So that's, it's not as scaly when it's young. And then the leaves are just these very simple um, oval leaves with a pointed tip and a lot of teeth along the margin, along the edges. So that is the leaf and the bark of Ostria virginiana, the hop hornbeam. Hop hornbeam has a lot of names. Some people call it ironwood because wood is really tough, burns super hot. It's a very dense wood. And... Uh, the reason it has the name hop hornbeam is because the flowers are, or the seed pods look just like the flowers of the hop plant and then the hornbeam comes from the strength of that wood was used as a beam across the horns of oxen when people used to plow fields a long time ago. So that's hop hornbeam. It's another one right back here just growing here in the understory of a mostly sugar maple and hickory forest. There's hop hornbeam bark again not quite so wet and a little bit more mature. See those vertical strips? Sometimes people think this is hickory, but it's not. Hickory, you'd never just flake off like that. Hickory is tough, you know, but hop hornbeam just rubs right off. Well, there you go, Ostria virginiana. Thanks for watching.